Uh, my name is Dan Siabawa, presenting the proposal with a topic which has to create a current conflict resolver which will help the instructor resolve the problem of timetable crashing. University of Zambia is a large public university with a lot of problems with both at undergraduate and postgraduate level. Timetabling crashing are common occurrence at University of Zambia. This is even more pronounced for the bachelors of ICT since students minor in programs from other departments and faculties. To help address this problem in courses like ICT 1110 and ICT 3020, a platform where this problem will be resolved will be quickly implemented. So the results of the project will likewise be beneficial to all the stakeholders affected, which includes the University of Zambia management, lecturers, students, and other institutions faced with the similar problems. So it will also leave stress on the part of the students as they will only be attending one class at a time. So the, the main objective of this project is to resolve timetabling clashing for ICT 1110 and ICT 3020. While the specific objectives are to investigate the extent of the timetabling clashing, to establish factors that lead to timetable clashing, and to identify challenges that students face with timetable crashing. So from here, my colleague will pick it up from here and talk about the research questions and so on. Thank you. Currently, there is no existing work, but a manual system was put in place in which members of staff from all schools sit down and resolve conflicts concerning the timetable. And the manual system has the following demerits. The first one is prone to error. Since there is no way to text automatically and determine if the created timetable has <coughs> omissions and errors. The second advantage is that it is hard to make changes. Changes in the scheduling of courses from one school may necessitate the changing of class schedules from other school. And the last disadvantage is higher course creating class schedules often involves multiple meetings, analysis, communication by the members of staff, these needs resources which would otherwise be used somewhere else. The proposed solution would be optimized to eliminate the mentioned challenges and issues in the manual system. The input system will be an initial timetable and classes by minors. Hello everyone, I'm Sunkoko Byron. I'll continue from where the first presenter ended from. I'll talk about the research questions and after that I'll proceed to the rated work. Um, the research question part this is an integral part of the research. It is the first active step which the researchers should undertake when they decide to carry a research. And the research questions which we have as the globe are as follows. Which minor courses are the students taking? The second one is, do students have three common time slots to which the lectures could be moved? This can only be done in instances when we have clashes. And the third and last one is, are there free venues within the university or institution ladder during the free common slots? These are the research questions which we have. And now we'll proceed to the rated work. Thank you so much. I'll continue from where Biden has left from. My name is Mutune Chaiwela. I'll look at the proposed solutions. Uh, the proposed system is going to use its input, namely the timetable and minor courses, in order for us to be able to detect and resolve the conflicts in the timetable. We, how are we going to do this? We plan to demonstrate how the system will eliminate the inefficiencies that we have found in the manual system. Which has been used, the manual system has been used for a couple of years now and it's currently being used by providing automated conflict detection and resolution. We move on to the procedures and methods. 
the software development methodology that would be used would be the iterative software development method, which involves an incremental and iterative approach. The activities in the development process will include requirements engineering, design, implementation, verification, and validation. It eliminates unnecessary work. The system will be validated first by verification and secondly by validation. It will include program testing, which will include executing the system with stimulated data to ensure it produces the correct output. Unit testing, where units of the system are tested independently. Then system testing, which components are, te are integrated and tested as a whole. Then customer testing, in which students and learners test the system with actual data. Quality assurance reviews will be done at every stage of the project. Then secondly, the beta system, which, which will be released to the target user base. Hello, my name is Pongo David and I'm continuing to present where my other colleague has ended. Alright, uh, so I will talk about ethical consideration. Ethical issues need to be anticipated and dealt with by any researcher. Therefore, in this proposal, we took time to consider uh, the possible and potential ethical issues. The measures undertaken to ensure compliance with ethical issues includes 1. Not forcing the respondent to answer a question. 2. The, the principle of confidentiality and respect. And then 3. Respect the rights, values, and decisions of the respondent. In addition, during the search, the respondent's responses were neither interfere, interfered nor contested by the researcher by us. Furthermore, informed consent will be obtained from respondents. Also, the right for the participant to participate in the study or not to also be considered. In addition, the researchers will communicate to participants before involving them in the study via telephone and WhatsApp. Also, the, lie, the right to withdraw and the effect of their withdrawal in the study will be explained. And lastly, but not the least, under ethical considerations, respondents will be assured of the benefits at the end of the project. All right. Moving on, I'll talk about uh, project management. So uh, the proposal in includes work, work breakdown structure in a landscape mode. Also, uh, it also contains risk management under uh, risk management. Risk management includes uh, risks, its probability, effect, strategy, and monitoring. These uh, risks will be measured in, in the categories of estimation, organization, and people. Also, the proposal also includes uh, research in, in uh, detail. Also, when it comes to resources, Java is the only resource which we are, which we are going to use for this uh, project. Thank you very much. This is where I end. My other colleague will take it up from here. Hi everyone, continuing with project management, I will talk about project timeline, which is a series of activities and uh, the time taken for them or the time which it will take for them to be implemented. This is helpful in the sense that it helps uh, team members to know when each activity is scheduled and um, for example, on the slide notes, it's showing that uh, software evolution will be done from 21st August 2020 to 15th September 2020. So moving away from project management, I'll talk about the anticipated outcome. And the anticipated outcome of this project is that um, it will be able to completely resolve uh, the timetable crashes as the software system will, will be able to detect these crashes by showing when uh, the day, time, and the free common slots for students. The students will benefit from this software in the sense that they will be able to know when a specific subject is scheduled. The lecturers will also benefit in a way that it will make them or have an assurance of teaching all the students. The management will be will also benefit from this software system for they will know when and where a lecture is being held and uh, the lectures where they are teaching from. Thank you.